What's going on everybody? This is Henry Eisenstein with eXp Realty. I wanna do a quick deep dive video and a quick deal that I just did. The property I bought about 90 days ago that I flipped and I flipped it into a multifamily property. I'm gonna break down the whole deal for you. Stay tuned, a lot of great information in this video and I'll see you shortly. So we are uh, finally on our way to go see the house that I flipped. I bought it with 20% down. I took hard money for the remaining amount of it. And uh, out of pocket, let's just call it for 25 grand. Uh, out of pocket, hard money for the rest. Paid 155 for it. And this property I was able to pick up from a wholesaler that I'm good friends with and partners with. And I was able to then resell it after I closed for 190,000. So I took that profit, that 190, and we're gonna go check out a property that I'm gonna throw that money into, which I'm already in contract on. So I can show you how you can take, call it 25,000 bucks, and you can turn it into $800,000 worth of real estate. Doing nothing crazy, just following the rules of real estate. I was always told when I was a kid that uh, you needed a lot of money in order to make a lot of money. And then you get into the world of real estate and you realize you don't need anything to make any kind of money. There's ways that you can make a couple dollars, then flip the money that you made into deals, flip it into bigger deals, flip it into bigger deals. So anyways, uh, you can use this as an example of about, uh, for those of you listening, how you can take basically no money and you can turn it to $800,000 worth of real estate. This deal behind me, this property behind me, I bought this about, call it late September 2020. Paid 155 for this house, okay? I put 20% down, which comes to about 31,000 bucks. And then I said to myself, because I was going to buy this rent, I was going to buy it, I was going to rehab it, then I was going to rent it, and then I was going to refinance it. And then I had somebody call me up who actually owns this property now, a friend of mine who said he was looking for a deal in the area. And I said, hey, you know, I started running numbers. I was like, look, if you can pay me 190, we got a deal today. So I sold it for 190. Okay, so I bought it for 155. I only paid the 20% down, which came to $31,000, and I sold it for 190. After all said and done, I, uh, after closing costs and everything else, I profited a little over $30,000. Took that $30,000 profit and I flipped it into a bigger, badder, more effective, more profitable multifamily property. Now, listen, in real estate, there's a lot of different ways you can run it. You can take this property, you can hold on to it, and you can rent it. And I would have made a profit of anywhere between $500 and $700 a month in profit. Uh, after all ex expenses were paid if I held on to this, okay? However, I said to myself, if I can make a quick 30 plus thousand dollars, that averaged out over to a period of time where I kind of could uh, make sense of just selling the deal outright. When you spend your money right, when you invest your money right, Here's the cool thing in real estate. You also don't need a lot of money in order to do big deals, right? Like I said, this is only 20% down, right? 30 grand. A lot of us here can make 30,000 bucks in a quarter, in a part of a year or two years, you can save up 30,000 bucks and you can flip deals and I'll show you what you can turn $30,000 into. Also, if you spend your money right and you invest your money right, you get to have some fun, right? You get to have fun. You get to drive cars that just like this where you get to drive your dream car whenever you want. This kind of car here, by the way, Right? This is a $200,000 car. I can drive this car whenever I want now because I've made smart investments along the way that pay for this, pay for the fun, pays for the watches, pays for the belts, pays for the clothes, right? If you spend your money right, you invest your money right, when you work hard and you do all these things the right way over a course of period of time, now guess what? Your money buys you these things. My money, my investments pay for this. I don't pay for this. My investments pay for this. Right? You ever want to drive nice cars? You want to know why the rich keep getting richer? It's because they let their money make them money instead of their hard-earned active income. Right? That hard-earned active income goes into this. Right? Let your active income go into this kind of stuff. Your assets, right? Buy assets, and the assets will pay for the liabilities. Cool? We're gonna have some fun. You know, I feel like it's fascinating because as you start making more money, you start meeting a lot of these. You meet a lot of people who ask you questions or, you know, I even talk, think about it even myself years ago. And you think it's so foreign or so crazy or harder. You know, it's like this darkness, this dark world of investments and, 
you know, you, you know, if you do enough research though, which is what I've learned has really paid off the most, is that if you do enough research on these different things, you realize that it's not super complicated, right? But you have to go out and do your own research. If you want to get involved in real estate investing, of course it's important to network, of course it's important to save money, and of course it's important to, uh, to meet the right people, but it's also important to do your own research and understand it, right? I watch countless, countless, countless hours, like thousands of hours worth of content so I can teach myself how to do these things. And look, don't get me wrong, I think that it's very important that a lot of us look to do some of these things with partners to begin with so that you learn how it works. My first few flips were with partners. I still do it with partners today. Have I done some myself? Yeah. But I realized that like, I'd rather do with people who really, really know what they're doing. I'll make a smaller return or I'll make a smaller you know, percentage of the deal. But this way I know I'm probably not gonna lose money because so many of us try to do it all on our own to make 100% of it. And then you make 100% of zero and you lose money and then you hate doing it. Like my biggest thing I always talk to uh, with people who come to me about investing in real estate is like, listen, let's be patient and find the right deal. Because I hate, and I've heard so many times, it, it pains me to hear when people had a bad experience in real estate and then they never want to do it again. You know, it's like anything else. Like if you have a bad relationship, all of a sudden you don't date somebody for two or three or four years because you had one bad experience, right? Or you have a bad experience in the stock market, so you never invest in the stock market again. People make millions of dollars in so many different avenues. And it's like, when you have one bad experience, it can ruin somebody's life uh, because they never want to try it again. So that's why I learned that it's important to do your research, to find good people, good partners to have, do do a few deals, do a few uh, investments with partners, right? And just realize that like, listen, it's okay to make mistakes. You just don't want them to be super costly, which is why you do them with partners because you're gonna make mistakes and that's okay, right? I've lost I've lost money on deals. I'm definitely gonna be the first one, uh, you know, to admit that I've lost money on deals. I've lost money on stocks. Like, you know, again, like, but the deals that I lost money on were deals where I didn't do 100% of my research or even some of the deals that I've done the research on, I knew it wasn't that great of a deal and I still pulled the trigger anyways. Or like, those are the things like, again, I've made mistakes, but I've made sure that they were not costly enough or wiped me out completely. And I just know that like, it's not the investment vehicle that was wrong, it was my decision, right? It was my decision that was wrong. I shouldn't have pulled the trigger, right? But obviously, you know, some of, you know, look, you learn from your mistakes. I learned from those experiences and I haven't lost money since. So. It's, it's really understanding, like doing your research, meeting the right people, understanding mistakes are gonna happen and just keep doing it, keep doing it, right? Because the worst thing you could do is stop, right? That's the worst thing you can do. You stop and you don't do it again. You don't make another investment, right? You don't, you don't, you don't uh, invest in that next house. You don't buy the next property. You don't invest in that next stock because you're scared. But the reason why you're scared is because you don't know enough. You're scared to do it on your own. You're scared to lose money again. You're scared to possibly make a mistake again. But that happens less frequently when you do it with partners, when you do your research. I feel so comfortable now going into a deal where, again, the property that we're about to see here, the property you're about to see is a, a, a multifamily property and uh, it's gonna be, I'm buying it for just about $800,000 and it's like, I would have never thought 10 years ago that my first property that I'm gonna live in personally would be an eight hundred thousand dollar house. Right? Like look, I, I you know, I don't come I don't come from a family of crazy money. I don't come from any of that kind of stuff. Like I had to build this all on my own. Right? And uh it's just crazy to think about it. It's like I never I never thought about it as uh you know a possibility that somebody like a two time college dropout could be buying an eight hundred thousand dollar house for your for my first property that I'm gonna live in. Finally here, this is the multifamily property that I'm taking my flip money and I'm throwing it into. So this property here is actually a, a four family property in the beautiful town of Red Bank, New Jersey. I'm literally one block from my office and I'm like two blocks from downtown. Awesome, awesome, awesome location. And then here's the best part. So it's four units and I'm paying $760,000 for this property, okay? I took the flip property that I had, which I spent 30,000 bucks to buy or $31,000 to buy, I took my $30,000 profit and I'm throwing into this $760,000 asset, which will pay me every single month, which is amazing. 
right? And by the way, the three units, right? I live in one, the other three units are fully rented and they will pay for my mortgage, okay? So I'm really not paying anything for this property, just my down payment, which I'm doing a three and a half percent down loan on a $760,000 piece of property. Now I wanna show you something, the beautiful thing on this is that if you do, I wanna show you something. Imagine if I told you, you can buy a, an $800,000 asset for $26,600. Now look, you got some closing costs in there, but I'm getting a seller's concession to pay for all that because the interest rates are so low. So, end all be all, I'm gonna be about 30,000 bucks total at the end of the day in this property, which I made from flipping my other house, right? And I got my other $30,000 back that I put as a down payment, right? So my 30,000 bucks made me 30 grand more, which I turned into eight, you know, basically $800,000 worth of real estate, which will pay me every single month. Right? So again, listen, I worked really hard to earn my 30 grand. Right? And a lot of you here are going to work really hard to make your 30 grand. Then you can take that 30,000 bucks and you can flip it into more real estate. Right? And if you do the right thing over and over and over again, you can take your little you can take the little amount of money that you think that might not be enough and you can turn it into $800,000 worth of real estate. And by the way, you're going to watch me buy millions of dollars more right right here on youtube because here's the craziest thing right i'm just i'm doing this right now in several other different circumstances we flip about 20 houses a year and i buy you know about a dozen properties a year in different aspects right sometimes with partners sometimes with uh, you know by myself if it's the right deal the most amazing thing is never stop right if you never stop and you keep learning and you keep flipping this money over and over and over again it would be an, it's an amazing thing where you can turn 30 grand into so all in all today you have to learn to get your money right and understand that if you can save enough money, if you earn enough money, let's, let's play this all out, right? If you earn enough money to save enough money, to invest enough money, and you do it all the right way and you're patient and you look for the right deals and you study hard and you work with partners and you find the right people and you learn to make mistakes and be okay with it, learn to fail. It is okay in the world of real estate and in the world of investing and the world of entrepreneurship, it is okay to make mistakes. Matter of fact, it is an absolute must. If you do this all right and you get your money to work for you, life gets a lot easier. And in a matter of just a few short years, you can find yourself owning quite a few pieces of property, quite a few investments that pay for all the fun stuff in your life. I hope this helps. I hope this video is uh, everything that you were looking for in the world of real estate. And uh, hope you enjoy your fantastic weekend, your week, your uh, you know this month, this quarter, this year. Make it a good one. Listen, I'll tell you right now, and I'll leave you with this. If I was not making the sacrifices I was making years ago and months ago, right? If I and they keep making these sacrifices over and over and over again, right? Where I have to sacrifice to go the long days, the long nights, the sleepless nights, the, the freaking hard days of constantly making phone calls and constantly working hard and saving a bunch of money and being patient. If I never made those sacrifices, I'm telling you, there's no way I'd be where I'm at right now. I had to make sacrifices for a long period of time and I'm gonna continue making them because this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning, right? A lot more to come. So start making your sacrifices, work hard, make a ton of money, save a ton of money, invest a ton of money. I'm telling you in a few short years, you can be, you can be and have everything that you ever want in life. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Okay.